Hey writers, welcome back to another mini lesson for your opinion writing unit. Today we are on an editing lesson and it's kind of revising, kind of editing. Let me tell you why. So today we're going to be talking about adding a positives to your speech. Now, what's an a positive? Great question. It's like a fancy word that just means kind of like a little interjection. And I know you've seen this before in your reading, um, but you might not yet have used it in your writing. So let me show you what it looks like. Um, it's hard to identify this when, um, you know, in a speech. So instead of looking at our mentor speeches, I'm going to go back to a story that we've read before. I dissent. And I'm going to show you a few examples of a positives. OK, so here we are in our book, I dissent. Ruth also had a little problem with sewing and cooking. These were her least favorite classes, but girls had to take them. Boys took shop where they worked with saws and other tools. Okay, there's an appositive in this little section here. When we see a comma, that is a big clue that we're seeing an appositive because appositives are um, kind of like announced with commas, okay? So it's just a little addition to the sentence that helps to paint a clearer picture. So here, boys took shop. That could be a sentence on its own, right? Boys took shop is a full, complete sentence. It has a noun and a verb and an object. Um, but this extension here, this is an appositive, where they worked with saws and other tools. It's just a little bit of extra information that helps to clarify the information in the sentence, right? This is telling them, telling the reader what shop means. Boys took shop, where they worked with saws and other tools. So there's one example of an appositive. Lower down on the page, we see another one. She wanted to take shop. She wanted to handle a saw, but she didn't get what she wanted. It may have been unfair to girls and to boys, but Ruth was learning that sometimes life was like that. Do you see any commas here? Remember, a comma is a big clue that there might be an appositive. There are two commas here, right? This little piece inside, and to boys, is an appositive. It may have been unfair to girls and to boys, but Ruth was learning that life was sometimes like that. So one other thing about an appositive is you can take it out of the sentence and it will still make sense. So if we took out those words, would it still make sense? It may have been unfair to girls, but Ruth was learning life was sometimes like that. Yeah, totally would have made sense. But this gives a little bit of extra information, right? It's unfair to girls and boys. Okay, so I'm here and I'm just looking for places where I can add in an appositive, which means a little bit of extra information. Eight million people, eight million people, eight million people. That is an eight with eight zeros. That is how many humans like you and me are impacted by climate change. Drought, floods, heat waves, extreme weather events, and sea levels are on the rise. Uh, they are terrifying, so terrifying in fact that it motivated one Swedish teenager to take action. I feel like that part right there, one Swedish teenager, I could add in a little bit more information. Like I could tell her actual age. One Swedish teenager, comma, a 15 year old girl to take action. So this little piece of information isn't a positive. It's making this sentence more clear, but the sentence would also make sense without it, okay? Um, the world would be a better place. I don't think I want to touch my um, thesis. Okay? I think it's pretty strong. All right. Greta Thunberg cares not only about the planet, but she also cares about the people and animals on the planet. That is why she uses her voice and actions to fight against climate change. How much do you actually know about climate change? Greta is very knowledgeable about the topic and has the ability to rattle off statistics that have to do with climate change, about how climate change will impact us and the planet. You know what, instead of putting the fact here, I'm gonna put it here. She has the ability to rattle off statistics, like, and then put it, uh, put the fact in there that have to do with how climate change will impact us on the planet. It's one reason why I find her so inspiring. 
She bravely uses her voice to speak out against and inform people about climate change. Okay, so here I found a place where I already had an appositive. This little bit here, a type of autism, is an appositive. The sentence can exist without it, right? Uh, she's open about her struggles with depression and about her diagnosis of Asperger's syndrome. That sentence makes sense, but with the comma and this appositive, it just makes it more clear. It like tells about what Asperger's is. So I already had one in there. Fancy. Because she's so open and honest. And, and Greta does not want to change herself. She's not want to be a person who does not have autism. A person who people might call normal. Right? So by adding a comma, and this little extra bit of information that's called an appositive. Um, it just helps to paint a better picture. Okay, I think that's all the appositives I'm gonna add for now. Then, as I'm reading it out loud, it kind of sounds like this. Uh, droughts, floods, heat waves, extreme weather events, and sea level rise are terrifying. So terrifying, in fact, that it motivated one Swedish, Swedish teenager, a 15-year-old girl, to take action. Do you see how, like, adding a positives into a speech, you change your voice a little bit when you say it, right? One Swedish teenager, a 15-year-old girl, to take action. It's like a little bit of extra information. It's really powerful in speeches. So I hope that you give it a try because now it's your turn to turn off the video, go to your own speech, read through it, and figure, think, um, is there any places where I can add a little bit more information by adding in a positive? Let me know if you have any questions and have fun. I'll talk to you soon.